So I was leisurely scrolling Pinterest and I came across this photo that has written supposedly the perfect that girl's 6am morning routine. Then I did some further research on Google Trends and realized that this 6am morning routine is actually trending right now, so why not try it out for myself? I already have a pretty good morning routine that I do every day, but it has become a bit repetitive, so I wanted to experiment and try something new. So in today's video, I try out the internet's viral perfect 6am that girl morning routine and see how it compares to my own. Good morning, you guys. So I have my morning routine written down on my phone, but I'm not going to be touching social media this morning because that is not a part of the morning routine. So I'm just going on my phone to see what I have to do next. So the first thing on the list is to wake up at 6 a.m., which I did. The thing about waking up in the winter this early is that it is dark and you just don't get that natural lighting as you do if it were to be like in the summer or waking up later. And it just makes it that much harder because because when you wake up your brain automatically kind of just associates it with the middle of the night and so it's always been hard for me to wake up early in the winter when it's dark even though in my usual morning routine I do it's just not as easy as like in the summer the waking up with the Sun and just having it bright when you wake up is just a million times easier this is a challenge in the winter but anyways now the second thing on the list is to drink water I usually never drink water first thing in the morning when I wake up. I kind of like the idea of getting up right away and like going downstairs to the kitchen. I feel like that is going to kind of wake me up a bit. So let's go get ourselves a glass of water and then we'll do the next thing. This is not actually hot water from the kettle. It's just room temperature because I don't like drinking super cold, cold water in the morning. So this is like perfect temperature. I feel like this is something I should actually implement into my routine because I don't really drink water first thing. The first thing I drink in the morning is bone broth and then I just don't have water until I really work out and go to the gym. I used to have water in the morning, but I don't know what happened. Like, I think I just stopped drinking it. But it's nice to have like one glass of water in the morning so you know you at least got a little bit of hydration in the first thing in the day and it's good to like cleanse your body. So the next thing on the list is to meditate. I have actually not meditated for a while now. I used to meditate all the time and this is actually something that I wanted to get back into in a habit that I want to restart. I don't know how I stopped doing it. I think I just kind of fell off the bandwagon and got lazy about it. But I have been wanting to start doing meditation again because it does actually really make me feel good. And I always use the excuse in the morning that I always fall asleep if I do a meditation early in the morning but I feel like if I get myself out of bed right away have a glass of water and then do it right afterwards like on the couch not in my bed then it might actually work so I'm excited to try this today because if I cannot fall asleep and actually like zone into a meditation right now I will continue to do this and then it's really nice to just get my meditation done first thing in the day and I feel like that's also when your mind is most like at ease and fresh and you can almost get into like a really good deep meditation so let's do that i definitely am not going to go back upstairs and do it on my bed i will fall asleep like there's no doubt about that so we're going to do it on the couch like and i'm going to be propped up i'm only going to do like a 10 minute session um because i feel like that's just like the perfect amount let's meditate and see how i do this around me <laughs>
I just finished the meditation. I feel really, really calm. It honestly might be a little bit more beneficial to do a meditation for me in the middle of the day, just because I feel like it's more beneficial to do a meditation when things are chaotic. I don't know, I could be wrong. Maybe I should do it in the morning and at night or and in the middle of the day. But I feel like since I already wake up with my mind being pretty calm, not like it's useless because it obviously it does something, but I just feel like it might be extra slash more beneficial doing it later on in the day or right before bed and my mind would be running a little bit more whereas like this early in the morning i'm just like really not thinking anyways so now actually after doing it i don't think that i'm gonna integrate a meditation in the morning because i just think it would be more beneficial to do later on but it was still a good meditation and i didn't fall asleep i did feel myself really really get deep into the meditation though because they say it's the best time to meditate right when you wake up because you're kind of in that zone where it's very very easy to to fall into like a really good deep meditation and I did feel myself fall into that but I also am the type of person that once I get up in the morning I need to gain momentum in my day and so getting out of bed getting water and then coming to meditate doesn't feel like it's for me because there's too much downtime and once I get out of bed like I need to keep my body moving or else I'm gonna stay here with this heated blanket and never move so that's the final verdict for me for the meditation <laughs> rolling the face this doesn't wake you up i don't know what will it is so cold it's like a cold plunge for your face oh my gosh it's actually freezing but it feels amazing in the morning and i love putting it over my eyes the best i'll link this ice roller down below on amazon it's so cheap it's like ten dollars and it does such a good job it's so cute do skincare i'm not gonna go crazy with the serums or anything because i am gonna be showering after my workout and then that's when i'll do like my whole shebang but i'll do a little bit more than usual because usually i just rinse my face with water and i don't clean it i don't do anything I just feels so wrong to be washing my face in the morning because <laughs> i never do i can just fall asleep I'm massaging my face right now i'm gonna put some toner on feeling pretty fresh not gonna lie but still feels pointless to do before a workout so the next step of this morning routine after doing my skincare is putting on eye masks i mean i'm not gonna complain about that i'm down for anything self-care especially if it's easy so i actually have these eye masks let's put them on i just feel like little things like this can really elevate your morning and just make you feel a little bit pampered make you feel a little bit special without really putting in much effort i don't know what it is about my eyes in the morning but they always feel so droopy and just very like gro groggy they feel tired even after ice rolling sometimes so putting on eye masks is just that extra step that can make them feel so good it's like an energy drink for your eyes let's hope that these actually do something and they actually feel really cooling already so these are a slight and i really never wear eye masks i think i've worn them like twice in my life before they may not really do anything but they feel good in the moment you know so i mean that's what matters it's very cooling okay so the next thing up on the list to do is to eat a healthy breakfast so i'm gonna have bone broth this is like my mini breakfast that i'm gonna have and then i'm gonna have like a bigger breakfast later on if i eat too much before i work out i feel really really sick and if i don't eat anything i feel sick as well so bone broth has been like my perfect medium in the morning that is not something that's too heavy but it still gives me some protein and calories that it ties me over perfectly for my workout and i feel great while working out so it's a perfect little medium it's a perfect little drink to have and it's so healthy for you bone broth is like liquid gold apparently it's just so nutritious and there's so much protein i think like 15 grams of protein in one cup or in one serving that's the vibe i'm gonna boil the water and then we're gonna make some bone broth this is the one that i've been using recently it's called prairie naturals it's just beef bone broth it's grass-fed i've tried a bunch of bone broths this one is not my favorite just because it doesn't have any like spices added the other one 
ones that I've tried have all had spices added and they've been delicious but since this one doesn't have anything added to it it's just pure beef bone broth it's very very plain it's not that it's gross by any means but it's just very very plain to what I was used to before so it's just I guess not my favorite but this one is a really good one if you want to mix it with something else because it really doesn't have much of a flavor yeah I've even seen people make bone broth hot chocolate and I can see that happening with this type of bone broth because it really doesn't have a flavor the other bone broth that I've been using I only have one packet left but it's the bare bones broth instant chicken and this one has like garlic powder apple cider vinegar tomato powder onion powder salt turmeric so it definitely tastes a lot i guess better but again it's not like this one tastes bad it's just very very plain so i just add a little bit of celtic salt to it because celtic salt is really really good as well anyways that's my little bone broth rundown so let's have a little healthy drink before we work out because i don't want to be eating a meal and then throwing up <laughs> drinking my bone broth and it's so good cheers to bone broth and doing a that girl morning routine so the next thing on the list is actually to brush my teeth that is musty dusty and crusty in my opinion because i already did this first thing when i woke up i know this is so subjective but in my opinion in order for me to feel clean in the morning i need to brush my teeth first thing i can't drink water before and this is because it is actually like a scientific fact that overnight a lot of bacteria builds up in your mouth and so if you don't brush your teeth right away if you eat before if you drink coffee before if you drink water before basically what you're doing is you're just drinking that bacteria back in your system and your body is trying to get rid of it for a reason and so by not brushing your teeth in the morning and by having water first thing you're just flushing it back down so i just feel the need to brush my teeth first thing and then if i eat and i feel like i want to brush my teeth after again then i totally will do that like brushing my teeth after i eat and stuff it's just not a thing for me so that makes me feel musty dusty and crusty so anyways just thought i'd share that because that's why i did it earlier but next thing on the list is to do pilates or exercise so today i'm going to be going to the gym i'm going to do a leg workout so let's start getting ourselves ready for that i'm going to put on like a cute workout set to make myself feel cute Okay guys, just about to leave the house. I feel like I'm taking so long this morning just because usually I actually wake up earlier than six o'clock. So I feel like I'm leaving so late right now because my normal routine, I wake up at around five to 5.30. So this is a little different for me, but like I said, I'm just gonna go to the gym today, gonna work legs. Working out in the morning always just feels so good. So after working out, they just put shower and then journaling is down there because usually in the morning, instead of meditating, I'll journal and I'll do other things like I'll clean the kitchen, but I didn't do any of that this morning because i'm following this morning routine and it just feels weird it's like i have such a set morning routine and i really wanted to do this to switch things up and see how i liked it but it's so weird when you like don't do your own routine it feels really just like foreign but it's also kind of fun because it's like an adventure like how am i gonna like this and also i'm an advocate for switching things up like i feel like it's just so important to always be switching up your routines and adding new things you don't want to become a robot and just do the same things every single 
single day and never change anything. It definitely feels really good to have a whole change today. And then from here, I'm going to see what I like and implement that into my own routine. So anyways, let's head to the gym because I feel like I've been doing this morning routine already forever. And it's already bright outside, which is really weird because I'm usually leaving the house when it's still a little bit dark. So I'm also not really feeling that tired this morning. I really motivated myself last night and I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos. I was scrolling on Pinterest and it just motivated me to wake up this morning and be happy and really just romanticize my life. I love doing that. I always love motivating myself and romanticizing things and I just feel really good this morning. So we're romanticizing the that girl routine even though it looks a little bit different for everybody. Let's head to the gym. I will see you guys there. I just got home from the gym. I'm just gonna make some breakfast now since I didn't have anything big earlier. And then we're gonna do the shower. But since breakfast was technically before, we're gonna have a before the shower. And I'm honestly so hungry. Like I'm ravenous once I come home from the gym. So I'm so excited to make a nice breakfast and eat. Here is the breakfast bowl that I made. I just cut up some yams and put them in the air fryer with some paprika, salt, garlic powder, poached two eggs, put them on top with some avocado. This is actually the best breakfast bowl ever. I'm obsessed with it and it's so good. I just put some green onions on top and then I made this little sauce with maple syrup and hot sauce mixed together to go on top. And oh my goodness, you guys, it's the best thing ever. I'm just gonna enjoy this before my shower. into a cute outfit which was the next thing to do i usually don't really wear jeans but today since i do have to do some grocery shopping and stuff i decided why not put on some jeans because they make me feel really put together and it also really repulses me from going back in bed to sit on the couch it really does make a difference in my sleepiness because once i have jeans on my brain thinks like okay it's actually go time so you can't really like laze around you have to be doing things so that's why i chose jeans today so we could be 
productive. I just put on this cute, long, seamless t-shirt from Aritzia. I actually just got this and I love it so much. I love how it's not cropped. It goes all the way down. It's her TNA line. I'm so obsessed with it. It's so soft. And then these jeans are just from White Fox. But that is the vibe for today. So the next thing on the list is to do my makeup. So that is what I'm doing. The days that I do my makeup always make me feel so much more like put together and ready to go. Same thing as the jeans kind of. It's really a repellent from going back to bed, laying on the couch. And it actually forces me to get what I need to get done done because I don't want to take a nap with makeup on. You know what I mean? So it actually really does help. I'm just going to do a light makeup look today. Just some concealer, bronzer, blush, just a little something. But I was just thinking to myself and I just posted a TikTok about this, but how small we are in relation to the whole universe. And we're basically like a speck of dust, literally, like we're so tiny. And that's why it's so important not to care about your silly little worries that you're stressing about and whatever it is that is giving you anxiety. Just try to zoom yourself out as best as possible. And what I mean by that is sit down, close your eyes, and imagine yourself zooming out into space, into the universe, and the earth just disappearing as you go further and further, getting smaller and smaller. And it really puts things into perspective for you. Like, wow, like my little silly problems that I'm worrying about really don't matter in the grand scheme of things. They're not gonna matter in a month from now. It's not gonna matter in five years from now, especially worrying about things that are out of your control. It's so important not to do that. Yeah, anyways, I was just thinking about that today. Who knows what other life forms are out there? Like we are just one little planet in this whole universe, which is actually a crazy concept and we worry about the stupidest littlest things that don't even matter in the grand scheme of things so just live your life the way that you want to live it don't care about other people's opinions or judgments of you because at the end of the day who cares nothing actually matters if you think about it all that matters is that we're happy so that's what i was kind of thinking during my meditation this morning i was kind of just zooming myself out and imagining myself like in outer space looking at the earth I'm like, wow, we're so tiny in the grand scheme of things. Anyways, I'm going to finish my makeup. I'm going to put on like a YouTube video or something, maybe a podcast. Big things. couple things in the morning routine is to journal make a drink and read so i'm gonna take my gratitude journal and do that and then i'm gonna make probably an iced coffee this is so out of order than what i usually do because i don't usually journal or read at this time of the day so it feels kind of weird but i like how i'm like already put together and then i get to make my coffee and then go chill and just read and i'm already ready like i don't have to worry about getting ready so i kind of like that honestly This is my homemade nut milk, by the way. It's so good. I will link the video that I put this recipe in, but I'm obsessed and make such good iced coffees. I'm gonna take this iced coffee now and I'm gonna go read atomic habits i usually never read at this time of day so it's so weird this book is so good though you guys i would 10 out of 10 suggest reading it it's just so motivational and it actually has taught me so much i have been loving it and i've been just reading it on my ipad it's super easy and i can also bring it with me wherever so easily but yeah so i'm just gonna do like 10 15 minutes of reading right now or maybe more if i want to while i drink my coffee oh. 